Hey there, me again. Uh, you may or may not know about this little product called Read Along by Google. Uh, it came out in about 2020, I believe it was, uh, as a Android app and you could use it with your children uh, on an Android phone or on an Android tablet and it will take them through uh, their own ability to read practice reading out loud and the Google phone or the, the tablet that you're using it on would listen to the child's reading and would uh, check to see that they're reading it correctly, give them encouragement and so on and motivate them to reading more. It had, as it says here, a global collection of stories, uh, playful learning, get better every day, personalized profiles, learning without Wi-Fi and it's private and secure. So it's a pretty cool little app but unfortunately, it doesn't come on uh, iPhone or on iPad. It's an Android only product. But the reason I'm talking about it here today is because Google just launched it for Google Workspace as well in the browser. And the New South Wales Department of Education is about to turn it on. I think it's next Thursday, which will be something like the, well, what is it today? It's here. So on Thursday, the 20th, we're expecting to see the read along for the web appear for our Google workspace and all of our students will be able to use it. Now I've got a sneak preview to it because uh, I've had it turned on for me just so I can see what it looks like and I've never used it so I'm going to give it a go for the first time right now so we can see what it's all about. The URL is readalong.google.com and if you press enter on there it will hopefully launch. It's still beta as it says, but we are turning it on because uh, Google has assured us that it's a very secure and safe product. They don't actually, uh, all of the all of the listening of the students reading is within the browser. It's not sent to Google servers at all. So that's a, that's a really good thing as well for privacy purposes. Um, so it's come up here with a Hello, a screen. my name is Dia. I will help your children learn to read. Thank you. Tap the language you want your children to learn to read. Okay, so I was reading about um, this particular product and it's actually an Indian Google initiative uh, from India and there's a few different dialects of Indian, I guess, that's showing up in here. Um, I'm probably not good at any of those, so I'm going to choose English only and then I'll go next. I listen to your children as they read out loud and help them when they get stuck. Very good. Magical assistants help when your child needs it. And uh, go next. Children can choose from hundreds of leveled stories. Recommendations change as they read better. And my understanding is with this product, it doesn't care about the accent that you use. So uh, Australian children are going to read the words and it, it will recognize it as an Australian accent and it will mark it accordingly. It won't tell you that you've pronounced something incorrectly because you're not speaking it with an American accent. Children can earn stars and unlock badges as they read. So it's a motivational tool for them as well to uh, read more and more using this product. But instead of being tied to a, a phone with a little tiny screen like this and talking to that, you're, um, you're using preferably a, a headset mic uh, so that if you're in a classroom with a large number of people that it's going to isolate you a little bit and uh, you'll be able to use it on a large screen. Whether it's a, a tablet, a Chromebook, uh, you'll be able to use it in a browser on an iPad. Uh, so there's a, a few different ways of making it happen. So let's go ahead and, and see what... Please this read this notice do. in full to understand the information we collect and how we use it. So this talks about the privacy policy and there's links to it. Uh, we'll pass that on. Got it. Do I need to do something? Ah, it's thinking. Okay. So... Uh, these are some of the books that it has available for you, friends, Alex the Doll, Minnie, Millie Peed Shoes, Greedy Little Cussy, Cussly, and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of them. I'm currently on level one. So that's, I guess, where it wants you to start. Um, so let's uh, let's have a look. I'll have a look at Millipede Shoes and see what that's all about. Let's read Millipede's Shoes. Where are all my shoes? I left them here. Now you can see what it's doing. It's saying, oh, you're trying to talk, but you need to let Google Chrome use your microphone. So I'm going to allow that. Where are all my shoes? I left them here. Well done, you got that. I haven't seen your shoes. Go ask Snail. 
Good job. No shoes here. Go ask Giraffe. Well done. I'm in a hurry. Go ask Frog. Good. Shoes? How many? Go ask Flamingo. Good job. Seen your shoes? No, not me. Good. Will I ever find my shoes? Good. Shoes A, you should ask the Monkeys. 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 Good. Can you read this word with me? Shoes. Shoes. That was good. Hello, hello. We're busy. Go ask Al. She knows everything. Well done. Hmm. I may have an idea. Why don't you ask Lion? Well done. These are yours? I'll give them all back if you come to my party. Nice work. Cool. Wonderful. You finished the story. So that I wonder... That was fast. Keep it up. So it tells me, ah, okay. To finish 10 minutes of reading today, read for 9 more minutes. So it wants you to read... Wow, look at all those stars you got. You're interrupting me, Daya. I got some stars, so I collect those, 260 of them. Lovely. And it's you got actually... new prizes. Ah. Prize for earning 100 stars. Pretty good. Prize for finishing one level one story. So it actually passed me on to level two straight away because it recognized that uh, I can probably read fairly well. And uh, yeah, it's now letting me jump onto a level two type book as opposed to continuing on with level one books, which may have happened if I if I was struggling. So that's uh, Read Along. You go to readalong.google.com from next Thursday or this Thursday coming up in uh, New South Wales Public Schools. Uh, it should be a cool little tool that uh, your students will be able to use. I hope you find it of use and uh, I will see you in the next video.